Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Style Fit Journey. Hope you all are doing well. So today, after a long time, I'm gonna share a makeup tutorial. So this is gonna be a soft uh, makeup tutorial which is suitable for Valentine's Day or for a date night or with a friends out anything. It's a simple, easy, but it's so soft glam kind of a look. So yeah, let's get into the video. But before that, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So without further delay, let's get right into the makeup tutorial video so yeah hi everyone yeah this is the only red top that I had on my wardrobe just now so yeah I wore it today for the video just for the purpose of Valentine's Day makeup looks so, yeah I've prepped my skin but I'll just share the product that I used for moisturizer I use the Pons light gel moisturizer it is so good I especially use it whenever I wear makeup under makeup it's just so good it moisturizes my skin so well and it preps my skin so well yeah and next step is the sunscreen right so if you are wearing the makeup in the daytime and if you want to go out then don't forget to ever wear your sunscreen so for today i'm gonna just share about this sunscreen with you from dot and key this is their vitamin c plus e super bright sunscreen it has sp for 50 pa triple plus it is yeah so good i've just used it twice it's a new launch and i've been trying and i really really like how lightweight and it's suitable for almost all skin types and i love it so so much next for the lip care i have been really obsessed with the fair beauty lip balms and this is their rosa rose lip balm which has this rose milk kind of a flavor to it yeah this is so cute pinky and yeah it has spf also so yeah this is a great one if you're looking for one lip balm that has spf in it that's all about the skincare and skin prep so now let's move on to makeup first for primer i'm gonna use this plum prep set go primer so i'm just gonna use it on my t-zone wherever i have just enlarged pores and oily skin and all such stuff it is a very transparent silicone based primer as you can see here maybe yeah so yeah i'm just gonna take a little bit and apply it wherever my skin tends to become oily super soon and I'm gonna just press it well so that it just blurs my pores and gives a beautiful canvas for the makeup. So that's it for the primer step and now I just want to get a slight dewy base so for that I'm using this Swiss Beauty Pearl Highlighter come like a moisturizer I would say it is like an illuminator so I'm just gonna take a very slight amount very little bit just as much can you see? And I'm just gonna apply on the highlighting zones wherever I tend to prefer. Can you see that soft sheen over here? That's why I just apply it and yeah. So regular step which is the next step which is called the orange corrector. Which So I'm gonna color correct my skin with this pack thick of a concealer color. I mean pack take our concealer in the shade rusty orange so i'm gonna apply it on areas wherever i have hyperpigmentation acne marks so yeah i'm just gonna apply it and blend it well first i'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it well because the pigmentation stays put and yeah the color correction is done perfectly so that's it for the orange corrector now i'm gonna take this damp beauty blender and i'm just gonna Run it on my skin to just remove the excess of the orange corrector. So foundation, I'm going to use this Miss Claire foundation. This is the natural wayless foundation and it's in the shade cinnamon. Yeah, this is almost my perfect match. Just a tad, like just half a shade lighter I would say. But it is so super good. So I'm just going to take this damn beauty blender with this foundation. And I'm just going to blend it out so well. Can you see the finish guys? It's super lightweight. It's so good. The coverage is like medium to buildable full coverage as well. And the shade range is super amazing for the price you get. So this is how it looks like. And I really like this lightweight natural kind of a finish. Which isn't too matte or too dewy. So that's about the foundation. So now I'm going to use this e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And it is in the shade Deep Olive. So it's a kind of match for me. But a tad bit lighter I would say. Very very light. Um, just one tone difference I would say. And it would help to brighten my skin. And it has a good warm undertone to it. And now I'm going to again blend it well with this same damp beauty blender. 
I really really like this elf concealer guys if you are looking for one good concealer and or else if you are looking for a good product to purchase from elf cosmetics then you can definitely try out their camo concealer because it is so good it has good coverage it is super lightweight it stays for a long time and yeah it's pretty natural it's lightweight and yeah it has brightened up my skin so well so now let's move on to the cream blush and for that i'm using my current obsession simply num cream blush and it is in the shade partner in crime so i'm just gonna take the cream blush with this beauty blender and i'm gonna apply it on the apples of my cheeks this is really worth the hype and worth the price guys it looks so natural as you can see the pigmentation is pretty good it looks so natural and being a blush loving person i really love this blush so much and now i'm just going to do a slight cream contour kind of a bronzing i would say yeah i don't do contour much so but yeah let's try because it's been a while very slightly not much also from blue vein and this is one of the good product i would say because the concealer is a no from my side but this cream contour kit is so super good it is super creamy it blends so well and gives a natural contour kind of a finish can you see how well it has blended and it gave the shadow that i need So that's about the cream part. So now I'm going to set my entire base makeup with a loose powder and for that I'm going to use this Swiss Beauty loose finishing powder and it is in the shade medium deep number 4. So it has a beautiful seal seal kind of a mechanism and there's a puff and a mirror with it. But today I'm going to use the same beauty blender to set <laughs> my entire base. Can you see how beautifully it has set and given that perfect natural finish? That's about the base makeup guys. Now let's move on to eyebrows. Now for the eyebrows, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild eyebrow kit. So yeah, this kit is super pigmented. It is so good. It comes with two colors, one wax, one spoolie with a brush and one Uh, eyebrow tweezers so yeah it also has a mirror underneath but it's quite difficult to open and close so that i don't use it so yeah first let me just brush off the eyebrow now i'm going to use the darker shade from the eyebrow kit and just groom my eyebrows with short strokes oh my god it's so pigmented whenever you're using this guys be careful Can you see the difference how beautifully it has grown and it is super pigmented so i'm just going to finish my other eyebrow and i'll be right back so that's about my eyebrow so now let's move on to the eye look which is my favorite part of the makeup look and for that i'm going to use this lakme spotlight shadow and it's in the variant um sundowner yeah this is the variant sundowner and this color palette is so super good So after a long time I'm using this palette and I have no idea what look should I create. Yeah, but let's see how it goes. So first I'm going to take this beautiful pinkish peach shade with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just to work on my crease area. Can you see how beautifully it blends in and the pigmentation is pretty good? Next I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to take this beautiful purple shade and work on the outer corner of my eye. Can you see how beautiful the pigment is and this shade oh my god is so super good. So I'm going to just work on my crease and the outer V of my eye and yeah this is blending so super well. So this is how the crease part looks like. So now let's move on to the main part of the eye look. Next, I'm gonna take a shader brush and I'm gonna use this beautiful light peach shade on the inner corners of my eye. Oh my god! Just look at the pigmentation. This is super pigmented, and I did not really expect this. So this is how the eye look looks like and now for the lower lid i'm going to use this pencil brush and this beautiful mauve pink shade over here 
I'm going to just take it and apply it on my lower lash line. So yeah, this is the eye look and yeah, it's so simple, easy yet pretty good, right? So yeah, I really like how this look turned out. So next for Kajal, I'm going to use this Plum Eye Swear by Kajal over here. And yeah, I'm going to just use it on my tight line. Both on the upper and lower waterline. I'm just gonna line it and this is super pigmented, long lasting and it looks so good. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use the color bar eyeliner and this is super pigmented, it is so good. So I'm gonna draw a thin winged eyeliner with this. So yeah, it's been a long time since I wore an eyeliner so let's see how it goes. My eye always tends to get water whenever I wear a makeup look. Yeah, it's pretty hectic, I would say, especially when I'm doing a makeup tutorial video. That's why I usually tend to skip makeup tutorial video at times. But yeah, this time I really wanted to do because it's been a very long time since I did a makeup tutorial. So yeah, one side of the eyeliner is done and this is how it looks like. So that's it about the eyeliner. After the eyeliner, your eye look just transforms into another level. So yeah, the next transformation step for your eye look is your eyelash curler. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes gently and very slightly. Yeah. Now, this is the first time I'm gonna use this mascara. So this is the new Mama Earth Lash Care Mascara. It's a new for me, but it's not a new launch, I would say. So yeah, uh, they've said that it's a lash care mascara and it's voluminizing. It has vitamin E in it. It's pretty good. The wand looks like this. It's pretty thick wand. Yeah, so I'm just gonna apply it on my eyes. I really like the way it just separates the lashes so well and gives that natural fan kind of a look. Like it's like a separated lash. It's giving pretty good volume. I really like the mascara. It's great for everyday use, I would say. It's pretty good. It's natural. Yeah, I really like how my eye turned out. Like my how my eye look turned out. So yeah, that's about the eyes and everything. So I'm just gonna take a powder brush and just dust off any excess of the eyeshadow because next we are gonna go for the powder blush step yeah my favorite step blush tip so for that i'm using this wet and wild uh, color icon blush and it's in the shade mellow wine so i'm gonna use this beautiful blush brush from this amazon brush set i really like the golden color of this brush set so yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit dab of the excess and apply it on my cheeks. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Now I'm gonna use the highlighter part of this uh, Blue Heaven contour kit. I'm just gonna take with my fingers and just apply it slightly like that. I can see a very slight shine which is natural. I completely forgot about the powder highlighter to take up from my makeup brush so I'm just gonna use the same bead shade from the eyeshadow very very slightly just very slightly and I'm gonna apply it on the highlight this looks so beautiful I didn't really expect this to be so good yeah I'm just very really taking a slight amount and I'm applying wherever I apply this cream highlighter I'm gonna apply the same shade on my eyebrow bone as well to just highlight it very very slightly not much thank god I have this beautiful shade in this palette so that this looks good for now the last step is our lips so for lips I'm gonna use this Nika don't lip line lip liner and it is in the shade um, sweetheart pink I'm just gonna line my lips with this shade first so next I'm going to use this House of Makeup Matte Lipstick, it's a Hydra Matte Lipstick and it's in the shade Tan on Tan. This is a beautiful nude brown shade. Just look at how beautiful the lip look has turned out. It's really beautiful, right? So do we need to apply a lip gloss today? Just tell me. 
okay i'm just gonna try out this blur lip gloss it's the dude don't touch my gloss the uh, shade names or the product names of this blur india products are pretty cool and interesting so i'm just gonna apply this red lip gloss very very slightly not much whoa so that's about the makeup guys i really like how beautiful the makeup look turned out so i'm just gonna complete everything and i'll be right back so that's pretty much of the completed look i just added a teeny tiny teeny heart just on both side of my eyes and for that i used this plum i swear by matte eyeliner and it's in the shade of beautiful baby pink it's called cloud pink and this really added so much to my eye look and i really love how today's look turned so well it's so beautiful soft dewy um yeah it's kind of a soft glam look and the lip gloss just turned out the look so well i really like this look so much i hope you do so as well so yeah if you like this look and if you want me to share more tutorials do give a thumbs up and comment down below what more videos do you want me to do next and don't forget to share with your friends and family you can also check out my instagram page star photo jenny for more skincare hair care makeup and kuti kuti fashion content yeah until next time bye bye